Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Janet and in today's video we'll be whipping up a batch of Kifa bristlets. So if you're ready, let's get sewing. The supplies you'll need today is a piece of cotton fabric, 4 inches by 12 and a half inches, a piece of cotton batting or fusible fleece, cut 2 inches by 12 and a half inches, and a hardware piece that clamps onto the end of your key fob and has the o-ring to hold all your keys. What I purchased was a batch of these and it came with a tool but you can also use a pair of pliers. You just need to put something uh, soft on the end so it doesn't bend your the metal on, on this piece. At your ironing board you'll start with your fabric right side down. You're going to fold your fabric in half longwise and press a crease in the center. Once you have that crease, you're going to open up your fabric again and you're going to fold this side and meet the middle crease that you've just created and press that flat. Turn your fabric around and do this same thing to the other side. Once you've pressed both sides in, fold the whole thing on top of itself and give it a good press all the way down. One thing to note, before you pin or clip into place, you'll want to insert your batting or your fusible fleece. You'll open up what you just pressed, and in the second fold here, so you've got the two folds here, open it up and you've got this section here, you'll want to insert your batting or fusible fleece. What I do with the batting, mine is pretty thick and I pull it in half so I only use half of that. doesn't need to be too thick. Put that into place. Make your folds back. And then you'll pin or clip this into place. Now you'll sew a quarter of an inch seam at the opening. All the way from left to right. Once you've sewn the quarter inch seam on the one side, you'll flip it around and you'll sew a quarter inch seam on the other side. This is the side where you've, you've got the fold. Once you're done, it'll look like this. Be sure to clip off any extra thread that you have on each end. Now this step is completely optional, but it does hold the key fob fabric into place a little bit better. If you have a glue gun, before you attach the hardware to the fabric, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of glue right in the center where the fabric is going to go. You'll take your two raw ends, fit them securely in that opening where you just put the glue. Take your pliers and you're going to squeeze it shut. And just like that, you're done. So here's the finished product. They're six inches total, final size. 
and you can customize them any way you'd like. I embroidered this one and uh, you can embroider a name for someone's name, a saying, you could put a Bible quote, anything goes. If you've enjoyed this tutorial today, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day.